Hi, I'm Ken Lieber with InsureTech Express. And today we want to talk about simplifying what is AR versus VR. AR stands for augmented reality and VR stands for virtual reality. And you probably have been seeing over the last several years either apps for your smartphone in AR or you're hearing about the metaverse and Facebook and their Quest goggles and virtual reality. And then Apple just came out with their Vision Pro or just did their announcement about their Vision Pro, which is coming out early next year. Um, but so what I want to do is it, it can get really confusing and bringing the two together is what we call mixed reality, <laughs> adding another layer to this whole thing. So I want to make it very easy for you to understand. So let's start with virtual reality. Now, virtual reality has kind of been around a long time. Um, there were online games and communities where you had avatars and over the internet and you could play uh, with and communicate with other people online. And I would say that's probably one of the earlier versions of virtual reality. But what you're seeing today is what we call an immersed experience where you're putting on a head uh, headgear or what they actually called a head mounted display with these goggles um, so that you have a full experience and you'll probably see controllers and you may see uh, you may be able to try those out at different trade shows or in the mall or it's different electronic stores or whatever. Um, and then the one that's probably the most, there's a lot of companies out there that have these, but the one that's probably very popular today is Quest by Facebook or by, by Meta, okay? Um, mainly being used for games, but it can also be used for simulators. Uh, we see um, uh, like pilots learning to uh, fly certain types of aircraft using simulators, and that's using VR technology in a simulation machine. So you have the actual feel for what's going on in learning how to fly a certain aircraft. Um, you might have had some virtual reality experience when you go to look at a venue or a museum or something online where they say, here's a 360 degree virtual tour. And it's kind of, you kind of walk through it and navigate through it. Well, that's virtual reality. Um, so, um, but gaming is a big one um, and being able to then have connections and social interaction and gaming with other people um, it is a big deal uh, using it. And it really, puts you into a whole new world uh, that's completely digital um, and um, and closes you off from the world around you. And that's what virtual reality is really um, all about. So augmented reality is taking virtual elements and overlaying them on top of the real world. And you do not need... Um, uh, a headgear or goggles or a head simu simulator in any way, shape, or form to use to do augmented reality. So, um, so a good example is that it, there are many apps that you can download. Now I'm an Apple iPhone user, so but there are Android apps as well on Google. And so one uh, example is social media like Snapchat. So here I'm kind of I'm using the Zoom app. So. If I go ahead and go into video and choose a video filter, and I like these really cool shades, you see me now using these shades, okay? And this is uh, augmented reality. This is me really talking to you, you see me? And then I have these uh, uh, virtual shades over my eyes, uh, sunglasses. So, um, let me go ahead and take those back off. So that's one example. But then there are some really good practical examples of um, augmented reality. Uh, a good one is that there's a measuring tool. It's not exact that Apple has that you can actually uh, take your camera and your phone using this app and you can look at something like if you're measuring a wall or a piece of furniture or whatever you're trying to measure and you can actually measure. And that's pretty cool. 
Um, another one is looking at um, constellations and stars. So based on your GPS system, um, and, and you can look at the night sky where you are, and there are apps that will overlay the constellations and show you the constellations where you are, uh, looking at, again, at your smartphone or maybe your tablet, okay, to do that because it's a bigger screen. So it's pretty cool. Um, another one, uh, example of augmented reality, my wife, when she, uh, in her car, in her GPS or navigation system, she also has that projection that's on the windshield when she's driving. So it would overlay a picture of the speed limit, go orange when she's driving too fast or show you where there could be uh, traffic uh, or accidents happening. Um, so it's taking navigation systems and overlaying it to what you're seeing in the real world. So that's, so that's another practical use of augmented reality. Buying furniture. I think Ikea, Ikea has an app. So you could be uh, with your camera looking at a room and then taking a piece of furniture and see what that would look like in a room. So that's that's it. And then, of course, there is uh, also games and augmented reality. You've heard of Pokemon Go and other type of creature games where you're looking at the real world, but then you have this, these creatures over laying it and you're playing this this game in the real world and so that's another use of augmented or ar okay now if we were to really take bring the two more together we would call that a hybrid or a mixed reality an mr um, because we're now going to now interact with those virtual elements in the real world um so uh so integrating those types of objects um, can also include what we call spatial computing too. But let's take, for example, uh, and we're going to use now the new Apple Vision Pro as the example. Uh, you wanted to do a FaceTime or video phone call. So you're still seeing your living room. So the, the, the device has all of these cameras and sensors and everything. Um, and this is what's so advanced about MR is that the cameras and all of these sensors, you don't need to have controllers or anything. It's following your eyes. It's looking at your hand movements. And then what you're seeing in your displays is you're seeing your real, let's say your living room, but you're clicking on looking at email messages or taking a photo or like I said, doing FaceTime phone calls, like a group video phone call in your living room where you're still seeing your living room, but you're seeing this in front of you, okay? And then to uh, really have a more immersed experience, you can watch a movie, okay, where you have this 100, um, uh, you know, uh, foot screen in front of you, like you're in a real movie theater. And then you can then incorporate that with 3D audio or spatial audio. Some of you may use that for music today if you have special headphones for that and listen to spatial audio. But what's cool about it is you can feel it like something, you know, uh, sneaking up behind you and you have that whole audio feeling of that spatial audio in your spatial computing. Okay. And so that's the, so, and you can do real work, uh, uh, doing searching on the internet and uh, and things like that and and expanding your laptop as a screen in your in your augmented world or well again mixed reality is really taking the two together and making it more advanced so that's so that's i hope a helpful explanation of what ar is what vr is and then bringing them together in these new devices that are coming out so um, please visit insuretechexpress.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.